All right, good morning class. Uh, today we will be continuing the chapter work, energy and power. We have completed completed the explanation on unit A, work, energy and power, their measurement and units. So today we will be uh, beginning with the numericals. All right, so before we begin with the numericals, see, uh, there will be two videos, okay. Uh, this today's will be part one where I'll be doing five sums today All right, and in the uh, next class that is um, Where we'll be doing the other five sums from the exercise. Okay, so before we proceed with the numericals uh, I'll be uh, Helping you all with the for working formulas or we can say the relations of the formulas that we are going to use here while we are solving the numericals all right so uh, working formula number one will be force okay multiplied by displacement it gives you work isn't it so you can write w is equals to fs number two is w is equals to fs cos of theta when and the direction of the force applied and the displacement makes some angle okay then you have when the work is being done against the gravity you have w is equals to mgh that is mass into acceleration due to gravity into height then comes your number four that is power power is rate of doing work that is w by t okay or you can replace w from the first three equations you can get fs by t p is equals to fs by t number six you can get p is equals to fs cos of theta fs cos of theta divided by time okay question uh, sorry relation number seven you can write power is equals to the work done against the gravity divided by time that is mgh by time then you have number eight relation that is energy energy is equals to power into time all right then you must also remember uh, that one kgf Okay, this is the unit of force, gravitational unit of force, kgf, kilogram force. 1 kgf is equals to 10 newton, approximately. Okay, you can note this also, approx. Alright, so these are the things that we will be using when we are doing the sums here from the first exercise unit, uh, A's exercise numericals from the chapter. Alright, so now uh, let's begin with the numericals. Uh, the first numerical that I have taken today is numerical number one. Okay. Now, before we do, let's read the question. A body when acted open by a force of 10 kgf. So here, this is the first one given. First information given that is 10 kgf. The force is given in a gravitational unit. So that is 10 kgf. Is displaced by 0 0.5 meter. Calculate the work done by the force when the displacement is so this is number one in the direction of force okay that is w is equals to fs that is the relation that we are going to use then at an angle theta that is 60 degree here that is fs cos theta and number three is normal normal means when the theta is 90 degree all right so we are going to solve this numericals and the last information given here is the value of g that is acceleration due to gravity that is 10 newton per kilo gram all right so as i said you we must follow the four rules that i've given you in the earlier classes so first of all we'll write the given information under the heading given given force equals to 10 kg f which you can write as 10 into 10 newton okay since 1 kg f equals to 10 newton all right 1 kg f equals to 10 newton so we'll get 100 newton as the force okay and displacement here is 0 0.5 meter now if you compare the unit okay rule number two newton and meter they are both in the si system so the force uh, units of force and the unit of displacement they are uh, uh, under the same system and acceleration due to gravity that is g is uh, again 10 newton per kilogram which is also in the si unit okay so all the units are in same system so now we'll proceed with the question number one you have to find the work done when the force okay uh yeah like when the displacement is the in the direction of the force so number one we know f equals to sorry not f w equals to f into s so w equals to f into 
is so here force is 100 newton displacement is 0 0.5 so that gives me 50 okay so 10 gets removes the decimal there so you'll have 5 5 into 10 is 50 and since this is the work done so unit will be joule so 50 joule all right then number two okay number two is you have to find the work done when the displacement is making angle theta so now you know that f w is equals to f s cos of theta f s cos of theta so here force is 100 s is 0 0.5 okay into cos of theta is uh, sorry the cos of theta here is cos 60 degree because here theta the value of angle given here is 60 so that gives you uh, 50 okay 50 into so 100 into 0 0.5 will give you 50 so 50 into cos theta uh, here is 60 degrees so cos 60 degrees half all right so 50 into half gives you 25 joule so write this statement here write the even you write this statement here also for number one solution number one all right now this was your number two number three what does it say when theta is 90 degrees so you know the relation w is equals to fs cos of theta so here force is 100 again the displacement is 0 0.5 okay and the value of theta is 90 degrees since the question says it is normal okay normal means perpendicular means theta equals to 90 degree so 100 into 0 0.5 will give you 50 into cos of 90 is 0 the value of cos of 90 is 0 so 50 into 0 means you will get the solution as 0 so means the work done is 0 when the displacement is normal to the force all right that is what you have to write the statement so this was your question number one so now here if you uh, missed out anything here you pause the video okay then uh, like uh, you rewind the video okay you drag back the video and again see how i've done the solution all right so this is your solution for question number one now let's go to question number two question number two says okay a body of mass 40 kilogram so uh, let me circle the informations which are given here 40 kilogram now kilogram is the unit of mass isn't it so 40 kilogram means mass is given climbs up the stairs and reaches the roof at a height of 8 meters so this is your height in 5 seconds so that is the time all right so again here are three questions which has been asked here number one is force of gravity acting on the body means you have to find f the work done by the by him against the force of gravity that is w now since it's against the gravity gravity the relation will be mg h so that is the relation that will be used will be using for number uh, two okay and number three is power is spent by the body you know power equals to w by t so these are the three relations that we are going to use here so before that let's follow the rule number one to jot down the given information under the heading given so 40 kilogram a kilogram is the unit of mass so m equals to 40 kilogram okay then you have height height is 8 meter all right then you have time time is 5 second and at the end you have the value of g here g is equals to 10 meter per second square all right so this is your information now rule number two compare the units if you see the units kilogram is the si unit of mass meter is the si unit of um, uh, thing length is second is the si unit of time and meter per second square is the si unit of acceleration so all the units are in same system so rule number two okay can be skipped off now let's go to rule number uh, sorry rule number uh, two okay now rule number three use the best relation isn't it so question number one the force of gravity so we no f equals to m g isn't it so mass here is 40 and um, the value of g acceleration due to gravity is 10 so that will give you 40 into 10 will give you 400 now since this is the force so unit will be newton so here you write this statement all right the force of gravity acting on the body is 400 newton all right now question number two now what does question number two says the work done by him against the force of gravity for number two w equals to m g h the best relation so mass here is 40 g is 10 height is 8 
So you see that 4 into 8 is 4 8 is 32. You have 1 0 here, 1 0 here. So you will get 2 zeros at the product. Okay, so we will have 3200. Now since this is the work done, so the unit will be joule. Alright, so we write this statement. The work done by him against the gravity, force of gravity is 3200 joule. So here will be your statement. That is rule number 4. All right. Now the last question here is the power spent by the him. So you know that power equals to W by T. Isn't it? Power is equals to W by T. So work done here. You have just now calculated in number 2. That is 3200 divided by the time taken here, which we have noted down here is 5 seconds. So 5. All right. So you'll have 5, 6 is 30. So you'll have 20 now. So 5, 4 is 20. And we have 1, 0 here. So you'll get 640 watt. All right. Since watt is the unit of power. So again, here you write the statement. Okay. Is that understood? So this is question number 2. Okay. So again, I'm, I'm saying you can pause the video. You can go back. Okay. You can uh, drag back the timeline. And again, you, watch, you can watch the solution for number 2. If you don't understand in 1, watch okay you can again rewatch it okay now let's move to the next question question number four question number four it says a weight lifter lifted a load of 200 kilogram force so here again kilogram force is the unit of force in the gravitational system all right unit of force in the gravitational system did you get me to a height of 2.5 meter in 5 second so this is one information given this is another this is another and here you have the acceleration due to gravity so let us jot down the given thing so 200 kilogram force is the value for force which is in the gravitational unit height is 2.5 meter time is 5 second and acceleration due to gravity is 10 newton per kilogram it is okay it is 10 all right now compare the units all the units are same except kilogram force kilogram force now has to be converted into newton so you know 200 into 10 will give you 20 100 that is 2000 newton here you write since 1 kg f equals to 10 newton okay clear so these are the information given rule number one over rule number two comparing the units also is also over okay now rule number uh two uh, sorry question number one follow the rule number three that is use the best relation number one is work done what you have to find work done okay so now what is the work done here what is the work done here so work done here is again force into displacement what is it force into displacement that is m okay g h okay so you know, know whenever you have the relation okay to uh thing uh for gravitational unit means you are lifting something which is you are doing the work against the gravity so we know force equals to oh sorry work done equals to okay work done equals to the relation is m g h now since here in the question mass is not mentioned so but you know that m g is f isn't it so you write f into h that is force is 2000 so 2000 into the height is 2.5 all right so 2 into 2.5 will give you 5 isn't it 5 all right and you will have here you how many zeros 5 Zero, uh, three zeros okay so we'll have five thousand joule so you write the statement again here rule number four all right now let's go to question number two question number two says the power developed by him so you know power equals to rate of doing work that is w by t w here is five thousand so five thousand divided by time is five so when you divide five thousand by five you'll get one thousand 
what so this is the power so again you write the statement all right so this is question number four so here for question number two you'll write the power developed by him equals to or is 1000 watt all right so this is your question number four now let's go to question number six all right now the number which i'm leaving it's quite easy so that's why i'm not doing the sums you can do it by yourself okay um your question number three is your homework okay so question number three you do it and send me in the evening as usual all right now let's go to question number six now question number six if you read the question okay you have an electric heater with a power three kilowatt is the power is used for 10 hour how many hours 10 hours how much energy does it consume so let's follow rule number one given power equals to three kilo watt okay time is 10 hours okay how much energy does it consume number one in kilowatt so number one you have to find in in kilowatt hour all right so you know isn't it we know energy is given by one more relation which i've given you p into t that is three kilowatt into 10 hour which gives you 30 kilowatt hour so you write the statement all right is that understood now question number two is you have to find the energy spent okay or consumed in joule so solution number two now you know okay since one kilo watt hour equals to 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule this relations i've asked you to write in the last class in the assignment okay so it's i've taken from there so one kilowatt is this much so 30 kilowatt 30 kilowatt of energy consumed will be how much 30 into 3.6 into 10 to the power 6 joule okay which means let's multiply here so when you multiply here you'll get 3 6 is 18 all right 3 6 is 18 and 3 3 is 9 okay so 9 plus 1 is 10 so you'll have 108 into 10 to the power okay uh, 6 joule now since the exponential form has all uh, in the exponential form this value should always be between 1 to 10 so when i bring this in between 1 to 10 that is when i make this as 1.08 then what will happen i have to add 2 in the power here so i'll have 10 to the power 8 joule okay so i'll get 1.08 into 10 to the power 8 joule so this is the energy consumed in joule so write the statement here for number two as well as for number one here in the solution after the solution all right now let's go to the last question for the day question number seven all right now we are doing question number seven all right so number seven is a bit a different question where the information are given okay but not the direct one all right so you have to use the uh, uh, information given here as per the demand of the question all right okay question number seven let's write the given thing given you have given volume of water that is 50 liter here so when i read the question you'll get it so water pump raises 50 liter of water so 50 liter is the volume through a height of 25 meter so height is 25 meter in five seconds so time is five second calculate the power okay of the pump required so you are asked to find power and now you know the relation to find power is p equals to w by t so this is the equation that we'll be using here okay now g is also given here as lesson due to gravity that is 10 newton kilogram per kilogram okay and density of water is how much okay so here i'll write density density denoted by rho is one thousand kilogram per meter cube okay so here you know to uh, here the water is raised to a height of 25 meter means you are doing the work against the gravity okay you are doing the work against the gravity means you have to use the relation w is equals to mgh 
isn't it so you have g here you have height that is h here but you don't have mass so from this given information first of all you need to find the mass okay now how are you going to find the mass you know the relation isn't it density is equals to mass per volume or mass is equals to density into volume so from this relation you will use the uh, you will use this relation to find the mass because you have the density density is given in the question isn't it here density of water is given and the volume of water is also given in terms of 50 liters so first we will find the mass all right so first of all let us do calculate the volume of water because the volume of water is given in liters so first let us find the volume of water in meter cube so volume of water okay so 50 liter means when you divide 50 liter by 1000 you will get in meter cube so volume is 50 by 1000 meter cube all right understood and mass of water mass of water is given by density okay of water into into volume of water volume of it's two volume of water density is 1000 okay into volume is 50 by 1000 so 1000 from the numerator and denominator gets cancelled okay giving you let me drag the page a little bit up okay okay so now it's dragging up so now here you'll get okay the mass equals to 50 kilogram now you got the mass mass of the water is 50 kilogram so 50 liter equals to 50 kilogram so you cannot just directly write 50 liter equals to 50 kilogram you have to show the calculation as well okay how i got the mass of the water here is that okay so work done okay so now work done that is w to lift the water 50 kilogram of water to a height of um what was the height height of 25 okay 25 meter in 5 second will be given by the relation m g h so mass is 50 okay acceleration to gravity is 10 and the uh, height height given is how much 25 so that gives me uh, 500 okay into 25 so that will give me 5 5 is 25 okay uh, divide uh, carry over 2 5 to the 10 11 12 okay so we'll have how much 125 and 200 zero, zero. All right, so this is my joule. So this is the energy which I okay use. Okay, uh, wait for a while. Something happened here. So here I have a uh, thing. I got the work done. So work done here is how much? Let, let me go to the solution number of seven so work done here i got as one um, uh, sorry, like twelve thousand and five hundred joule but the question is telling me to calculate the power of the pump isn't it now power of pump equals to w by t so w is 12,500 which I have calculated just now okay and this is done in how many seconds 5 seconds so we'll have to cancel here so 5 2 is 10 5 5 is 25 and how many zeros 2 zeros so I'll get 2500 watt so write this statement here the power again okay, developed or you can say the power of the pump required to lift 50 kilogram of water to a height of 5 meter in 5 seconds is 2500 watt all right so this is it for today We'll meet in the next class with the part two of the video where I'll be solving the remaining okay sums and from there I'll be doing five sums. All right, so this is it. Uh, today's homework is question number three. All right, thank you.